I'm Jordan Troxell. I work for Toyota Designs, Lucas Oil Honda for Tara Geiger and Jesse Nelson. And this week on Transworld's How To, presented by Lucas Oil, I will show you how to change your air filter. All right, first thing you want to do is take your seat bolts out, pop your seat off, then we're going to pull the filter out. Uh, this is one thing uh, a lot of guys, including myself, overlook sometimes, is uh, using rubber gloves when you work with filter chemicals. Um, it's easy to get in a rush and just grab it and clean it and oil it without gloves, but uh, for your health, 20, 30 years down the road, this is the best way to go. Just going to pull this out. We're gonna walk outside and clean it. Once you get your filter out, just uh, go outside to a sink or whatever. I just get it a little wet. Use your favorite filter cleaner. Rub it in. Let it do its magic. Depending on how bad it is, you might need to hit it a few more times. You should get it all worked in. Make sure uh, you get all the chemicals out. Try to get all the oil out. Run it through with clean water a few different times. Then I'm going to take it over to the compressor, blow it out as best I can. Then the best place is just to take it and set it in the sun. Um, let it dry as long as it takes, so we'll come back and get that when it's ready. All right, after you give your filter time to dry in the sun, um, just bring it back in. Use your Lucas Oil foam filter oil. Make sure you get a good bit around the rim. This is where it seals. And make sure no dust gets in. Kind of go a good little bit. Spend a few minutes and work it in really good. You want to make sure you got a nice even layer everywhere. Kind of look at the color. I got a light spot right here, so I'll just throw another dab. Work it in. Once that's good, I'm going to spray my filter cage with contact cleaner. Get it dry. Once that's good, I'll put it all back together. Before you put your filter in, you want to make sure you clean all the excess grease from before around the seal. And also look inside the air boot and make sure there's no debris or water from a previous wash or anything down in there. Uh, even if you have a good air filter, if you forget some stuff down in there and it gets sucked into your motor, uh, it could cause problems. Find your threads, screw it in. Get it good and tight and then I'll take my fingers and I'll just run around the lip of the filter, make sure it's sealed all the way around, there's no 
open holes. Once I verify that's all good, just throw your seat back on. Put your seat bolts back in. And you should be good to go. That's it for this week's Transworld How-To presented by Lucas Oil on how to change your air filter.